No, dude, literally just the other day I was telling my buddy about this, how uh, DLC characters in Mortal Kombat 1 are not meant or made or built for the casual player base. Like, they're just not. Like, sure, you can have some fun with them and play them at a very casual level, sure. But characters like Homelander, Ermac, Quan Chi, maybe even a little bit of Peacemaker, they're just not meant for casual players. Again, you can have fun with them and just do some fun stuff, sure. But at the end of the day, their kit is built to be a bit more complex than other characters. Like, like you can pick up Scorpion, or, or Raiden or Liu Kang and Baraka and these characters that are a bit simpler. Their combos are a bit simpler, yes. They're a bit easier to understand out the gate and understand, okay, this is their strategy, this is their game plan. And their execution on their combos is a bit easier than some characters, yes. But then there are characters in the actual game like Sindel, Shang Tsung, and Ken Chi that, that of course on the surface are a bit more complex. Most casual players don't tend to like lean towards those characters. And I think that these DLC characters are kind of the same way. Like for an example, Homelander has the dash. And from the dash, you can do four different moves. One, two, three, or four. We got one, we got two, you get it. And you can do the same thing in the air, of course. So let's say you pop them up, you can do the same thing, right? That execution, I find to be easy. I know there's a lot of players that find it easy to pull off, but there's a lot of casual players that might see that and go, oh man, I, I really wanted to play Homelander, but that's just, that's just too much for me. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. Like we have to understand there are a lot of players that are like, full-time dads or they go to school or they work 40 to 80 hours a week they don't have time to master and learn this execution with a dash inside a character's combos again nothing wrong with that and people love to hate on players like that like oh you can't do a simple back four two and then one it's like well we can sure but a lot of players just don't have the time or maybe even like don't have the mental capacity to like want to handle that i know a ton of people in my comments were so excited for ermac before he actually got released they were like ermac's my number one character i cannot wait to play him and then after he released there were a ton of people in my comments that were like i just i can't i can't play him man i can't again you can do some really easy stuff with him sure he's got decent combos that are fun to mess around with yes but if you really want to master Ermac, we know he's all about the air cancels. So you do this and then air cancel it and then combo from there as you saw even me like right there i dropped it like i can do it right but a lot of players, they're just not, they're just not wanting to put in that work or they, they, they literally can't, they don't have the time to put in the work to actually master cancels like that. And if you really want to take Ermax gameplay to the next level and be the best Ermac you can, you're gonna need to do those air cancels, especially in combos. As a content creator myself who makes daily videos, I stream, I record, I edit, I do so many things. I have to have, and I play on a mix box. Like I, this is a hit box, mix box. This is what I play on. So I put in the time, I put in the money to first of all, get one of these and like play on one of these. These are all my buttons, but that's because I wanted to, you know, up my gameplay to the next level myself. I played on controller for years. So it took me a long time to actually change my muscle memory and learn how to play on a hit box. So for me, it makes those inputs a little bit easier to like do the cancel like this and then do a combo then a special first of all i've been playing fighting games for a very long time but then on a hitbox it's a little bit easier yes just because i have more control over my inputs but a lot of people i would say the majority of players play on a controller now whether you're playing on the stick or the d-pad inputs like that can be can be kind of hard sometimes you take into consideration that playing on a controller and having these hard inputs and you add together you know being a full-time dad or going to school full-time or working 40 to 80 hours a week like you have all these things going on and my brother you just don't have the time to really like master these cancels and stuff dude you, you just you just you just can't i mean quan chi doesn't have any like crazy cancels or anything like that but his gameplay is played a bit different than most characters and again in my opinion for the casual player base it can seem really intimidating on the surface quan chi has three different portals you're like yeah hey, i gotta worry about all three of these portals they all do different things i gotta implement that inside my gameplay then i can trap my opponent with the cage and then do the portals and then zone up my opponent try to get an enhanced one like that and then do some kind of combo have those setups use my cancel that can be a lot on your mental stack like Quan Chi is an amazing character I like Quan Chi a lot but I understand he's got a lot going on in his kit that a lot of players especially in the casuals don't really want to deal with that like let's just be honest it's just it's just easier it's just less time consuming and less stress to just pick up a character that's just easy to get out the gate nothing wrong with that I just feel like all these DLC characters are just they're just a bit much for the casuals and I say that and I make this video because I know that the casual player base is like the majority of fighting game players. You only see and hear about the pro players, the content creators, because they're in the scene. That's what they're doing. They're making the videos, they're doing the streams, they're out there competing. So of course that's all you see. So you don't actually internalize and realize that 
the majority of players are all just they're just casuals nothing wrong with that but like we have to understand that in most fighting games most games in general the majority of players are just casual players there are people that come home from a long day of school and they just want to play some mortal kombat they just want to jump on play a few matches and then go cook dinner and go to bed because they got work at 6 a.m the next day i feel like out of all the dlc characters omni man was kind of built to be a bit simpler but even then he has the viltrumite stance which from here we can dodge projectiles and we got four different moves from that stance alone and that stance can be utilized in the air so it's not like it's a lot to worry about but having that stance and having four different moves on the ground in the air from that stance alone that can be a lot for some players yes because that stance is really ingrained inside of his gameplay again if you really want to master on demand you got to master the viltrumite stance you got to do it inside of combos wherever you can then you got to jump and finish those combos even with the stance though i feel like omni man he, he's a bit more simpler than the other dlc characters Characters. he can still be an absolute menace and absolutely crazy but he's not as uh as like intense or complex as other dlc characters like again ermac with the cancels uh, homelander with the dash cancel quan chi with all the portals and the zoning and all that stuff you gotta worry about arnie man's a uh, straight up bruiser he's in your face just going full-on brawler with a uh, stance that's just special move and then a button but again i understand if like you see that and you really want to play omni man you're like dude i just don't have the mental capacity or like the time to really master a stance like this not for everybody and i get it it's just a bit weird to me that they introduce these awesome dlc characters you know omni man peacemaker homelander to try to bring in a new audience like i know so many people and i get so many comments on my videos and my streams that say oh I, I, I only got Mortal Kombat X because I wanted to play Alien and Predator. Or like, I only got Mortal Kombat 11 because I really wanted to play Robocop or, or Rambo. Like, DLC characters and guest characters do bring in new people, a new audience, new players. But then when you build them like this, where they're pretty complex, you know, Homelander and even Ermac, like those players that really wanted to play Homelander and stuff, they, they're they going to play that and go, oh, man, I... I really wanted to play Homelander, but I just, I don't have the time to, to master that flight dash cancel move. So then they're turned away and they don't want to play it anymore because Homelander was like the only character that they wanted to play. But on the flip side, I get it, right? Like we have the pro scene, we have the competitor. And when you give depth to a character like Homelander, Ermac, and even Omni-Man with the stance, that adds depth, that adds character to the character. I get it. I love it. Even if you don't play Homelander, Ermac, you can respect the sauce that they have in their kit it is really cool i'm just saying that personally when you really dig into it i i don't think that these dlc characters these guest characters are really built for the casual player base nothing wrong with that i just i just wish that they would make some uh some dlc some guest characters that were a bit uh simpler not necessarily for my sake but for a large majority of the player base's sake i don't know man that's just my thoughts let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments let me know like what do you think of dlc guest characters being a bit more complex and not built for the casual player place is like, is like do you agree with that do you not agree with that let me know your thoughts down below subscribe here for more mortal kombat and fighting game content take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more mortal kombat news guides reactions and more